Hey everyone, thanks again for joining. Today we are testing every single mask on Amazon, even one that apparently is no longer available. Oh, oh well, I guess you can't uh, do it. But I'm definitely gonna waste the next four minutes of my life telling you about it. Anyway, even if you can't buy it, because I bought it, that's why. I'm trying to ROI on this, okay? All right, uh, the name of this mask is DSBJ. I don't know what that means. So it's not a soft touch box, which makes me very sad. It's actually soft touch light. It's like they put like, uh, they thought about making it a soft touch box and uh, that thought infused itself into the normal box. Um, I think it's just a really sad one. Uh, they've got the uh, the batch number and the production date. Um, the thing that's funny about these being not unavailable on Amazon is like, you, you, you can't make less than like 5 million of these masks. Never heard of this brand. So someone went to the trouble making a box, putting the brand together, putting machines together, putting together a production system and like it's not available anymore, it's kind of sad. I'm just looking to see if there is any claims and there's no claims on this. So let's open it up. I love this. This is easy to open. That's neato. Well, well they always make these things and I can never open them correctly. Am I the only one? Um, ooh, nice, look at that. Five individually packed uh, things in here. That's great. Um, wow, I like that. And then this is uh, done with a uh, horizontal form filled packing machine or also known as a flow wrapper. Um, and then they folded it. That's interesting. So we used to package stuff like this, but it was a very manual process. But actually, that's a very interesting way to do it. Um, never seen anything like that. They've also got a number on here and maybe that means something but i like that this is 100 percent sealed that's great makes me feel good open that up take a look so it's got a little bit of a bend in the process that happens you know from time to time um what's a really thick nose wire it's a double nose wire i think it's a double nose wire this is a double nose wire okay. no this is the second time i've seen this today it's plastic so this is like a very this is a very very cheap alternative to using uh extruded uh metal which is like taking uh, like a galvanized wire and then uh, putting a piece of plastic over it so that it's hypoallergenic um, this is just plastic that's crazy i can't believe I, I literally saw this for the first time today and now i'm seeing it again it's like a very cheap way of doing it because you're not going to get as strong of a seal on the top of this. Okay, this is very plasticky um, smell. Well, I've definitely smelled worse. You put this on your face, you're like, this is not ideal. And in fact, that's what I would call this smell. Not ideal, <laughs> but not terrible. Um, so uh, it's, a, it's actually a pretty good construction considering, I'm wondering, Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, that, that guy just popped right off. The, the, the uh, ear loops are very nice. They're thick. I'm giving it a good... Okay, if you try to do a little bit, it's going to go. But like, you know, I'd probably say that the construction of this... I would normally give this construction probably like three or four stars. But I'm going to give it two stars because of that plastic thing. It just, it doesn't give you as uh, enough of a seal on the top. But does that even matter if it doesn't protect you? Actually, it doesn't matter because you can't even buy it. <laughs> All right. So, uh, let's do everyone's favorite part where I try to not pinch my fingers. Oh, come on, man. Almost did it. Ah! <laughs> kind of got me there. Not going to lie. And let's, uh, let's let her rip on this. All right, so this is a particulate filtration efficiency machine. Um, what it's doing is it's testing airflow resistance here and it's testing efficiency. It takes about 10 seconds to reset and you can see this number. This is gonna uh, change throughout the process, so I wouldn't pay attention to that. This number is probably not gonna change that much though. We're at 120. And at 120, I can tell you that like, that is a very, very, uh, not, not super breathable mask. And usually there's an inverse, in, there's a correlation between uh, you know, the breathability and the filtration. So the higher the breathability, uh, the lower the fil filtration, typically. Um, 118, 120, what it's showing at now, th that's about what our masks test at, and we test at at 98% uh, filtration. Let's go ahead and take a look at the actual listing itself. Uh, so uh, listing here, DSBJ 
not sure what that means. Uh, at least I know that I can say it. Uh, currently unavailable, don't know, only nine ratings. Pretty high though, 4.5 out of five. Three ply to, I'm trying to see if there's any claims that they're making. It actually says these disposable masks have a plastic nose clip and elastic ear loop. So they're telling you here up front, if you see plastic, uh, no, don't, don't buy that. Do not buy anything that's plastic. It's not gonna give you the proper seal. We actually use a double nose wire in ours that we ended up upgrading for that reason. But it. Let's switch over to the actual machine and see how we're doing. So uh, it has increased a little bit. You saw at the beginning of the test, it was about uh, 60%. Um, now it's at 75.615. Again, that 75.615 is what the final result is. That is terrible. That is the, in terms of uh, this style of mask, it is the second worst mask that we have ever tested. And the part that makes it really bad is the fact that it's not very breathable, at least like make it super breathable. The, the worst mask we, mask we ever t tested was the Paw Patrol mask from Nickelodeon. And I think it had efficiency of about 70%, uh, but it had really great breathability. I think it was like 70 or 80, which for kids you could argue like you want it to be more breathable, you want them to wear it. Man, that's not good. Uh, I would say, uh, even though you can't buy this mask, man, I'd probably give this guy like two stars. I would not buy this uh, personally. There's just, there's so many better deals on Amazon for you to go. All right, uh, thank you. If you uh, were looking for this mask specifically, which is not possible since you can't buy it, uh, and you didn't buy it, which is also not possible because I know you can't even buy it. Uh, so I guess like if you're just watching this because you must be really bored or something, I guess like give me a like, man, or something, or, or uh, or, 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 or subscribe, or, or don't do anything. Like, I'm just glad that you're here. I really am. <laughs> All right, thank you. We will see you on the next test.